Ah, uh, hello and good morning to you. This is Dr. Bill Bledsoe bringing you another morning session of prayer. Your prayers said aloud in the privacy of your own home, your own heartfelt concerns, while you heal your body and your mind at the same time. This is the very best way to start any day for the rest of your life, I promise. Uh, it's just amazing to walk with God first thing in the morning, every morning. So we'll begin by me saying my prayer, thanking God for this. I thank you, God, for this wonderful method of prayer this method of each of us being able to pray aloud our own heartfelt concerns, our fears, our love, expressing it aloud to you in the privacy of our own homes, expressing our gratitude while we heal our bodies. I thank the generations that have brought this to us from the house of Abraham, the house of David, from Jesus, and Mother Mary, Father Joseph, Mary Magdalene, and Virginia Ellen, who finally wrote a book called Sacred Heart Yoga, so anybody in the world can practice this wonderful method of prayer anytime they want. Amen. Now, if you'll repeat after me, we'll do the Sacred Heart Yoga, say it, the Sacred Heart Yoga morning prayer. Ah, beloved God, I devote this practice this day to the evolution of my soul, to the fulfillment of my destiny. in service to you, O oh God. And I allow myself to be purified as I rejoice in your kingdom of heaven and the love of you, O oh God. And I give thanks for these many blessings, these moments that I can share with my mind, my body, my spirit, and my soul in oneness with you, O oh God. And so it is, amen. Um. Next, we're going to try to clear our minds of, of all the fears and stray thoughts that keep popping in. Um, and we'll do it with an um, arm movement with our right hand. We'll hold our right hand up to the 12 o'clock position, slowly move it over to the 3 o'clock position, down to the mat. Right knee, left knee, 9 o'clock position, and back up to the 12 o'clock position. As we do this motion, repeat after me. Beloved God, I clear my mind of anyone or anything standing within. I bless them and I send them into your light, O oh God. Om. Now we're going to ask God how may we serve, and the answer always comes to me in no more than one or two words, and most of the time I have no idea what they mean at first. 
and I'll use them over and over in my personal prayers. And by the time I'm done, I'll have a good, clear understanding of what I'm supposed to know this day. So we do this by putting our right hands over our hearts. And here, if you'll repeat after me, our prayers begin with, my God, how may I serve you this day? Now we're going to stand up and announce aloud what came to us. We do this by standing straight and tall, put our palms out forward. And here our prayers begin with, God, my intention to serve you this day is to Um. Now we're going to sit back down and lay down on our backs, go into a resting position where our legs are outstretched, our arms are at our sides. And we start, we begin, our first posture is to move our right leg, hold it up near our chest, our right knee. Holding it there with our arms and our hands, and here our prayers begin with. Oh God, my true Father, I love you, and I thank you for Um. Now we take our right foot in our left hand, pull it over to our left thigh and let our right knee fall down to the mat. And we take our right arm straight up above our head, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true Father, 
I love you. And I thank you for Um. Now we take our right foot in our right hand, switching hands, hold it down near our pelvis. Our left arm goes straight up above our heads, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we take our right foot and we point it up towards the heavens, holding it with our right hand. Left arm still stretched out down to the mat above our heads. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we let that right foot go heavenward and then fall out to the right side of our bodies, opening our pelvis as wide as we can, and our arms fall straight out to the sides from our chest down to the mat, palms up, and our prayers begin with, Oh God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Um. <clears throat> now we turn our heads to the right, keeping our arms outstretched down to the mat, and our right leg goes across our bodies over to the left side, keeping our shoulders down flat on the back mat. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for
Now we go back to resting position. Legs outstretched, arms at our sides. And we pull our left knee up to our chest. Here our prayers begin with, holding it there with our arms and our hands, and our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true mother, I love you, and I thank you for... Um. Now we hold our left foot in our right hand, pull it over to our right thigh, let our left knee fall down towards the mat. Our left arm goes straight above our head, stretched out, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Now we take our left foot and our left hand, our right arm goes straight above our heads down to the mat and we hold our left foot near our pelvis and our prayers begin with, Oh God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we take our left foot and we point it up towards the heavens. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for
Now we let our left foot fall out to the left side of our bodies, down to the mat, extending, opening our pelvis as wide as we can. Our arms get extended straight out from our sides. Once again, palms up, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true mother, I love you. And I thank you for Now we turn our heads to the left and are keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat. Our right left leg goes across our bodies over to the right side, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true mother, I love you with all my heart. And I thank you for Now we go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides. And we pull both knees up to our chest, holding them there with our arms and our hands. Here our prayers begin with, Oh God, my God, I love you, and I thank you for... Now we hold our right foot in our right hand, left foot in our left hand, holding them down near our pelvis, soles of our feet together. And here our prayers begin with, Oh God, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we'll pull our feet apart down near our pelvis. And our prayers here begin with God, I truly love you, and I thank you for... Oh. 
Om. Now we point both feet up towards the heavens. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you. And I thank you for our feet fall down to the mat right near our pelvis. Knees are pointed up heavenward. Our arms fall straight out to the sides once again down to the mat. This time our palms are down. We turn our heads to the left and our knees go over to the right. And here our prayers begin with Oh God, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now we turn our heads to the right and our knees go across our body, keeping our shoulders down flat on the back, down over to the left side of our bodies. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you. And I thank you for Now we go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides. And we're going to surrender, once again, surrender things to God that might be distracting us. It might be fears of things that we've got to do this day. But again, we're just trying to clear our minds so Fear blocks love. We're trying to get rid of our fear so that we can truly love God and love others. You can't be terrified of somebody and fear them and still love them too. It just doesn't work. So we got to let our fears go. Surrender them to God. So here we surrender our fears to God by putting our hands under our sit bones, lean forward on our elbows, and try to touch the tops of our heads back down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Oh God, my God, I surrender to you.
Om. Now we go back to resting position. Our arms at our sides, our legs outstretched. And we take our left hand and we reach for the heavens and let it fall over to the right side of our bodies. Our right hand goes halfway between our left shoulder and left elbow. And here our prayers begin with, God, in your name, I choose to Om. Now we <clears throat> take our right hand up towards the heavens, let it fall over to the left side of our bodies, and halfway between our left elbow and left shoulder, we hold it with our left hand, I mean, with our, between our right elbow, right shoulder. Try to do that right, right hand up towards the heavens, fall over to the left side. Grab it with our left hand. And here our prayers begin with, God, in your name, I can. Um. Now we let go back to resting position, and this time we pull both feet up to our pelvis down on the mat and let our knees fall out to the outside. This forms a tabernacle, a house of God below our bodies. We form a second tabernacle of our hearts by putting our hands in prayer position over our hearts and extending them up two thirds of the way up to the heavens. And in this house of God, this tabernacle of our hearts, we find God's beautiful chalice filled with anything we could ever desire being in service to God to the one. And here our prayers begin with, God, I drink from your chalice, your gift of Now we 
take our hands down over our heads, down to the mat over our heads in prayer position, our arms fall out to the sides, forming a tabernacle over our whole bodies. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my God, I truly thank you for healing my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul. Um, now we're going to start the anointing series. We, we do the same four postures and prayers three different times. And our hands are always in prayer position during the whole anointing series. We begin by putting our thumbs up to our foreheads and our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with, God, I bless and I dedicate only in service to you your gifts to me of Um. Now our hands go down in prayer position over our hearts and our prayers begin with God I truly thank you for your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our fingers and we point them down into our abdomens. This is a motion this time, and, and we move them out to the uh, right above our pelvis at like the three o'clock position on a clock. Move them counterclockwise up to the 12 o'clock position, and then the nine o'clock position over our heads down to the mat, and then back to our foreheads to begin the next in the series of, of anointing series. So as we do this motion, our prayers begin with, my God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts to me of
Now we start the second in the series and we take our thumbs to our foreheads and our prayers begin with. God, I anoint your gifts to me of all. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with God, I bless, dedicating only in service to you your gifts to me of go down over our hearts and our prayers begin with God I truly thank you for these gifts of Now we take our hands and we put them down into our abdomens, extend them out to the 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock position, and our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts to me of Now we take our hands back in prayer position to our foreheads, thumbs touching our foreheads, and we start the third and final in the anointing series. Here our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts to me of Um, now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with, God, I bless and I dedicate only in service to you, your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our hands down over our hearts 
in prayer position and our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for these gifts to me of Um. Now we take our fingers and point them down into our abdomens and extend them out to the 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock positions. And our, here our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts to me of Um. Now we go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides, and we cross our right ankle over our left ankle, our right wrist over our left wrist over our heart. And here our prayers begin with, My God, I truly thank you for protecting me and keeping me safe. Um. Now we go back to resting position, roll over on our sides and push ourselves back up into sitting position using our arms and our hands. We extend our right leg straight out in front of us. Our left foot goes over our right knee. We hold our right, our left knee with our right arm. And our left arm goes behind our backs for support. As we twist our backs, our shoulders, and our heads to the left, our prayers begin with, Desire I am, desire I am, desire I am. My God, in your name, I desire to. Um. Now we switch legs, left leg goes straight out in front of us, our right foot goes across our left knee, and we hold our right knee 
with our left arm and our right arm goes behind our backs for support. And here our prayers begin with, Will I am, well, we turn our twist, our backs, our shoulders, and our heads to the right. And here our prayers begin with, Will I am, will I am, will I am. My God, in your name, I will. Om. Now we get up on our knees, put our hands in prayer position over our hearts, and here our prayers begin with, my God, I truly thank you for Now we go back, we know we form a tabernacle with our hands, put the tips of our thumbs together, the tips of our first fingers together, and we put them down on the mat and we go over into child's pose where we put our forehead in this tabernacle. And here we just take a short time and we feel God's presence, God's motherly love and fatherly wisdom filling our bodies completely. Um, now we go back to sitting position. This time our right leg goes out to the right side of our bodies. Our left foot comes up, extended out. Our left foot comes up to the inside of our right thigh. And here our prayers begin with, Oh God, in your name, I will be. Now our left leg goes out to the left side. Our right foot comes up to the inside of our left thigh. And here our prayers begin with, God, in your name, I am.
Om. Now we go back to sitting position. Sitting straight and tall, our hands are on our knees, palms up, thumbs touching our middle two fingers. And keeping our back straight, we bow forward at our pelvis, and our prayers begin with, I bow to you, my God, for healing my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul. Om. Now we sit straight and tall once again and bow forward a second time at our pelvis, keeping our back straight. And our prayers begin with, I bow to you, my God, my father, my mother, the one, the oneness. Om. Now we feel where we're grounded and we go back and sit up straight and tall once again. And we feel where we're grounded down to the mat, the left side and right side of our pelvis. On the left side of our pelvis, we feel God's wonderful white light of motherly love, of motherly nurturing of motherly creation, of new life, new cells within our bodies. This white light fills every single cell in our legs to the tips of our toes, and it comes up into our abdomens, and it fills every cell in every organ with this wonderful white light of God's love, and it comes up into our hearts and our lungs, and our hearts are so filled it radiates like a beacon to the world, God's love. And it comes up through our throats and into our heads. And our minds are quieted and given the confidence of knowing God's love at all times. And the white light goes out the tops of our heads, spreading out over the entire sky above us and expanding out over the whole earth. And it rains down on every living creature God's wonderful love. Now we feel on the right side of our pelvis, God's blue light, blue light of truth, of knowing, of knowing how to heal, of knowing how to repair and do. God's blue light fills our legs, every cell in our legs to the fullest, to the tips of our toes, and it fills our abdomens and every cell in our every organ with truth and knowing how to heal. It fills our hearts and our chest with every breath and every heartbeat it spread to every cell of our bodies. The blue light goes up through our throats and into our minds and it fills our minds with truth, with strength. The blue light goes out the tops of our heads and it fills the entire skies above us and expands out across the whole earth and rains down God's truth on every living creature. Now we can step up into the light above our heads, stay as long as we want, ask anything we want, but we should always ask before leaving. God, what do I need to know this day? <laughs> <laughs>